Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting. It is part three in a three-part collab with my beautiful soul sister Anki. I'll pop pictures of Anki up. She is amazing, beautiful, talented, just I absolutely adore her. She's yeah, a bestie, a soul sister, amazing, amazing person and the queen of build your own palettes with the most amazing singles collection i'm i can't stop saying that because i am so so envious i say jealous but jealous just is too aggressive a word i'm envious of her amazing singles collection um but yes so today's video is part three where we will both be creating two looks using our build your own palettes um, that we created in the first part of this collab. Um, this is my palette, the Snow Fairy palette, and I'm in love with it. So in love with it. Um, Anki's palette, if you would like to see, you need to head over to her channel and watch her videos. I can tell you it's stunning. If you haven't seen it already, you need to. It's beautiful. And I cannot wait to see Anki's looks. I cannot um, you will find Anki's channel and video linked in the description box below. If you haven't been to check her out, please, please head over, subscribe, like, comment, all of that good stuff. She deserves it. She is so beautiful, talented, amazing. Yeah, I, I say these things all the time because they are true. She is amazing and I love her. Um, so guys, today's video I shall crack on with two looks with my snow fairy palette this look is look number two so yeah if you would like to see how i created this look and one other look then just keep on watching okay so let's get started on look number one i'm so excited and the first shade i'm gonna go into is from sigil inspired by tammy tanuka and it is 040 that's a shade up here and I'm going to take that through my crease. This is just such a beautiful, like, cool toned purple, which is my favourite kind of purple. If you know me, you know that I love my cool tones a lot. <laughs> and this is such... A stunning shade. Look at that. I have been dying to play with this. Um, I had to take a, a couple of days off filming um, for some personal reasons. But I am so happy to be back to filming and getting some gorgeous colour on my eyes. It is so beautiful. Yeah, I think this is actually possibly one of, if not my favourite matte shade from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka. It's stunning. I just wish that you could kind of... I, I know you can, they will ship to, to the UK, but you need to pay with a card issued in Russia at the moment. So whilst, yes, they would ship here, um, the likelihood of someone having a card issued in Russia is, yeah, slim. So sadly, at the moment, I'm not able to order anything from Citizen Spot by Chamichanuka. Hopefully that will change because I do absolutely love the formula. Okay, you're going to have to excuse the state of my eyelids. I have no idea what's going on. Well, it's not just my eyelids, it's under as well. The skin, my, the skin, my eyelid skin, skin on my eyelids, around my eyes, is so dry and it doesn't matter how much cream I put on or, yeah, it's just super, super dry. So... Yes, apologies. I'm hoping it's not going to affect how it looks, but we shall see. Okay, so 
I think I'm going to use Terra Moon's Ascension to blend out the edges of that shade there. These are such pretty shades and yeah I'm I'm really feeling s snow fairy vibes I think so I think these shades really kind of play well together look at how stunning that looks I think because the skin of my lid is so dry and actually quite sore at the moment, I'm going to stick with something pretty simple today so I don't irritate, irritate my eyelids any more than need be. But I'm so happy to be putting these pretty colours on my eyes because I think they are stunning. I think that's looking absolutely stunning. So I think the first out of the shimmer shades I'm going to go in with is from Popping Glow. And it is this shade here, Juicy Blueberry. I adore this. <laughs> Please excuse Jace's moaning away to himself. are absolutely stunning and whilst yes they do apply better with finger as you can see they apply beautifully with a brush also look at that and you can build the intensity up with a brush still Yes, let's put my finger in and show you what I mean. Look at that. Oof. The only thing I don't like with using my finger is I don't get the same um, the same precision. But I love the payoff. Okay, that is looking absolutely stunning. And I've been trying to decide whether I want to go with a more um pinky like kind of pinky to green inner or whether i want to go in with blue me away oh i don't know hmm i'm thinking actually that i'm gonna go in with I'm going to go in with Babe from Glam Shop Poland. I haven't used this on my eyes yet. And so, yeah, we're going to give that, that a go. I think that's going to look beautiful. So let's see. Yeah. Because it's still got the green shift, which you guys, if you know me, you know. Pink and green is my favourite colour combination and then to put it with this purple as well I am just in absolute colour heaven look at that yeah I'm glad I went down this route she got that real beautiful kind of baby pink but then that really gorgeous green shift I don't know what you are seeing on camera but what I am seeing in the mirror here is just heavenly and I can really see both the, the pink and the green as I move. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like heaven. I can see that my dry eyelids are affecting kind of the textural textural text texture look of my eyelids um but yeah we can't do anything about that i have tried soaking with eye creams i have tried the 
I marked, I have tried everything, nothing is working, but that's okay because look at that, that is stunning. I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of Juicy Blueberry just because I don't want to lose that shade completely because it is also absolutely stunning. I am absolutely in love with these shades together and so, so happy I decided to go with this. They look absolutely, absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly take a bit of the 040 from Sigil Inspired and that and I'm just going to just kind of buff it into the outside there, just to kind of blend them a bit, a bit better. That looks stunning. Okay, I'm going to quickly nip off and pop my base on and then we'll do the under eyes together. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I've popped my base on and we're just going to work on the under eyes now. So I'm first going to go into Flounder, which is from Ladybug Glow from the Murky Waters palette, which I was very kindly gifted the singles um, by Ladybug Glow. Thank you if you're watching. I love them. Um, so yes, I'm going to go into Flounder first and it would help if I had the brush the right way up. And I'm just going to bring that just on this kind of outer third just there just to kind of add that depth and then just kind of marry it in with marry it in blend it in <laughs> with um the outer part there this is such a pretty color well i've got a completely different way in a completely different direction than I thought I was going to go today and you know what I'm glad I did because this is looking stunning and then to blend that I'm going to go into Carnival by Terra Moons Cosmetics so we're going for more of the blue blue lower lash line which again isn't what I was originally going to do but I mean look at that That is looking so pretty. I think to blend out further, I'm going to go into Ascension, which is also from Terra Moons Cosmetics. And that's also the one I used to blend out the top. I just think that it's going to, just going to blend that blue really nicely. Yeah. Keeping that kind of icy snow fairy vibe. I am loving yeah, this is such a fun look I'm loving this again even even having used a ton of eye cream I can still see how dry the skin around my eyes is looking um, but hopefully you're not seeing that quite so clearly on camera i hope okay so for my under eyes i think for the inner part of my lower lash line do i want to go in with yes i am going to go in with blazing star from lethal cosmetics and i'm gonna place that just right here on this inner part that is beautiful to have the brush off stuff you have a base on wow um that is looking stunning okay so for my inner corner and brow mm. bone highlight i'm gonna go into beauty moon cosmetics um what are you called periwinkle Breaking my mind went blank there. Um, so yes, it's the first time using this 
on my eyes i'm super excited i think it is going to oh look at that <laughs> jace agrees apparently that is stunning look at that Ooh, okay that has a really beautiful strong green shift that is just lighting up my inner corners and I'm going to pop a bit of that up under my brow also. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. I am so happy with how this palette came out. This was so much fun to create. And... Just look. Uh, I really hope you can't hear my neighbours. They've been particularly noisy today. Um, but yeah, I can't control, can't control the neighbours. So apologies if you can hear them. Um, oh, I'm loving that. Okay, guys, I am going to nip off and finish my face. And then I will be back to show you finished look number one. So yeah, just stay where you are. Okay guys, so this is finished look number one. I am so in love with this look. I wish my eyelids weren't so dry and playing up so much, but hopefully that's not ruining ruining the look. I hope not. Um, but yeah, I am loving this look. I was about to say, I think this is my favourite so far, but it's the first one of two. So, of course, it's my favourite one so far because it's the only one so far. Um, before I hand you on over to look number two, I'm just going to quickly let you know a few of the other bits I popped on my face. Um, so, for my contour, I used the Beauty Crop Cocoa Bronze Palette and I used this shade here. And then for blush, I used the Beauty Crop Cocoa Rose palette and I used this pink shade here. My highlighter is from Artitude Cosmetics and it is the shade Transition, which is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. Um, where are we at now? My Liner is from Artitude Cosmetics also. It's the Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive in Black. This is amazing. The lashes are from Meggy Lashes, which is another UK indie brand. They're in the style Home Time. I love them. In my waterline is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil, one of the multi-chrome eyeliner pencils in the shade Lilac Quartz. I think it goes perfectly and then for my lips i have the beauty moon cosmetics lip icon liquid lipstick in the shade m39 my favorite lipstick ever i am obsessed with this lipstick um so guys yeah that is look number one let me know what you think in the comments section below and i will now hand you on over to look number two Okay, so look number two. Firstly, please excuse the state of my eyelids. They are dry and swollen and there's nothing I can do about it. I have popped on the P. Louise base in Rima 02, um, which has covered the redness at least. So I think first I'm going to go in with Flounder from Ladybug Glow. It's from the Murky Waters palette. I have the singles. I think I've mentioned that already. I was very, very fortunate to receive them gifted by Ladybug Glow. So thank you so much. I love them. Um, so I'm going to pop that right. Am I? Yeah, I am. <laughs> she says most of the way in. Just so that I've got something to blend the lighter one into on the inner side. Um, I love this shade. It's absolutely stunning. I have completely fallen in love with the Ladybug Glow 
eyeshadow formula if you can't tell already by by things I've said wow excuse my um, lack of speaking ability today also I didn't get much sleep I didn't get to sleep till like half four in the morning so if my words are even worse than normal apologies in advance oh this is such a beautiful shade and although this one does have the sparkling if you pack it on you still see the sparkles um but i am not packing i'm not packing i'm just blending and you can see how easily these shadows blend out they're so good and it's such a beautiful blue it's such a shame that this palette is discontinued, the, the Murky Waters palette, because it is so, so good. It is just a, such an amazing colour story and such amazing shadows. Yes, I love it. Okay, so that is looking super, super beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go into Terra Moon's Carnival, the Lighter of the Blues. And I'm going to use that on the inner part of my crease and kind of blend it into, into flounder. Being careful not to disturb, disturb the dryness too much. This one does come up. It does show slightly deeper on, on the eye. There's not much difference when you put these together like this is there the uh the terra moons mats are very dusty but that's okay but obviously if you if you don't like the i say dusty there's a lot of kick up but they perform so beautifully but i don't mind and these just look so pretty together I'm really feeling the the blue snowy vibes today. So for the outer part of my lid, I'm going to go into Blueberry from the Pastel Roses UK. And this is so pretty. I think this is going to look absolutely stunning yeah it's got that real kind of almost like icy vibe to it with the blues there so it's exactly what exactly what i was hoping for i think i am gonna need to deepen out here just a little bit but oh, it's so pretty I'm not sure if this shade, I know that the Pastel Roses have reformulated some of their shades and I don't know if this one has been or not. Um, if it has, then I have the original. If not, then I, I have the, the one that they have now. <laughs> okay, Steph. Um, but yeah, this is such a stunning shade. I do love my Pastel Roses, Pastel Roses singles. Yeah, Anki received PR recently from Pastel Roses UK, which is so deserved. She, I can't believe it's taken brands this long to to notice just how amazing she is. She does the best kind of flat lays and um, like the reels and swatches she's so talented so incredibly talented and she does have an incredible collection already of pastel roses singles and every time i see her use them i spot another one that i need to i need to get i say need at this point it's not a need it's a want but i still i need i need them I do. I'm I'm sticking with that. It's a need. 
<laughs> that looks so pretty okay that is looking beautiful so i am now going to go into popping glows blew me away i absolutely adore this shade it's one of my favorite shades ever and i'm gonna pop that on the rest of my lid the inner part and into that I love the kind of sea green base that this shade has. And you can see like the sea green, the purple, the blue. It is just absolutely stunning. And yeah, it's going so beautifully with Blueberry. that so pretty okay that is looking absolutely stunning i am going to deepen the the outer area so i'm going to go into royal by terra moons cosmetics um just to to deepen that add a bit of depth in the outer area yeah i'm not adding too much just just enough to to just create that little bit, little bit of depth. And that looks so pretty. I'm definitely feeling like an icy fairy today. And I am living for it. That looks so pretty. Okay, I'm loving how that's looking. I'm going to quickly nip off and pop my base on and then I'll come back. And we'll do the under eyes so just a moment okay so base on i'm first going to go into royal by terra moons and i'm gonna just take a little bit a little little bit of that right up against the lash line just in this outer outer little bit here So pretty. Please excuse all the noise today. I have no idea why. I think everybody and their kitchen sink is out today in the streets, on the roads, making noise. So I apologize if you can hear, but I really need to get this film. So hopefully they don't cause too many distractions. Okay, that looks so pretty. And I am aware how how dry <laughs> my under eyes look. Um, I have tried everything. I have tried soaking them in eye cream. I've tried cold compresses but it is what it is so okay now i'm gonna go into ascension from terra moons cosmetics also and i'm just gonna use that to blend out under my eye so pretty I haven't decided what shimmer I'm going to put under my eyes yet. I shall have a look in a moment. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe pink? Maybe. Okay, that is looking beautiful. Oh, crikey, I'm attacking everything. I think actually I'm going to go in with Glam Shop Poland's Babe um, or Lala. It's under both names on there. Um, I'm going to go in with that, I think, for, for the inner part. Ooh. And apparently in my waterline. As you do. Um, oh yes. That 
look so pretty. If you'll disguise some of the the dryness as well. Oof. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. I do like to kind of blow out the shimmer under my eye. I don't know why, I just kind of, I like the, I like the effect it gives. Yeah, that looks stunning. Okay, and for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go into Periwinkle from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. This one here. I just think this just is such a stunning shade for an inner corner. Look at that. It is just so kind of boom. It's it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at that. I'm quite quite obsessed with that shade that is looking so pretty I do have to say looking at the the shifts it is kind of giving me you know the um the northern lights kind of feel and I'm loving it so I'm gonna quickly nip off finish my face and then I'll come back to show you finished look number two and wrap up the video so if you'd like to see that and hear that then don't go anywhere Okay guys, so this is finished look number two. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which one's your favourite look one or look two? I think this one's my favourite just because I can just see the northern lights every time I, I look in the mirror and do that. Um, so yes, I think this is my favourite. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um, before... I wrap up I'm just gonna let you know a few of the bits that I popped on my face so for my contour I use the beauty crop cocoa bronze palette and I used this one down here the more cool toned one I'm really enjoying these little palettes from the beauty crop I love the formula my blush today is from it's bell cosmetics the Bessame blush palette and I used uh, Me Gustas, this one, and again, another little face palette that I adore, I love it. Um, for highlighter, I decided I wanted to go in with Periwinkle from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I thought I'd dip into the palette, and I think that as a highlighter, this is absolutely stunning as well, so... I do love a more to use product. If you know me, you know that. Um, my liner, the winged liner, is the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude 2 in 1 Liner and Lash Adhesive um, in black. This is amazing. The lashes are from Meggy Lashes in the style Home Time. Um, in my waterline, I have the Janessa Myricks Beauty Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil in the shade Lilac Quartz. And um, my lips today are, again, <laughs> Beauty Moon Cosmetics Lip Icon Liquid Lipstick in the shade M39. I'm just obsessed with this. So, look number two. Two looks. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I have had so much fun creating my Snow Fairy palette, swatching it, creating looks with it. I am definitely going to be using this again before I disassemble it because yeah I I love this color story this is just so beautiful um I know I'm biased I created it but I I just love it so so much I just think it's such a stunning color story but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below yeah one last look isn't she beautiful um yes Anki thank you so so much for wanting to collab with me again these are my favorites I love building palettes I love playing with singles swatching just the whole process of 
these collabs just makes my heart so happy i love them and thank you again for dragging me into this that sounds really awful for facilitating my obsession with single shadows and build your own palettes i'm just yeah I love doing it and I am already super excited for our next Build Your Own Palette collab which we haven't planned yet but you know it's coming guys because these collabs are so much fun. If you haven't been over to check out Anki's channel yet really you need to because she is amazing. If you love this style of video, if you love colourful makeup, if you love swatch parties you're just gonna love her she is so sweet so beautiful so talented and just such an amazing person i absolutely adore her and he thank you so so much again for wanting to club with me i i just love these so much and i love you so much and the whole everything the whole process I love it. Um, guys, if you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you are new, if you've come over from Anki's channel, or you've just found my channel, if you love this style of video, if you love to see more indie brands, more colourful looks, then please do consider subscribing. Come and hang out with me some more because I would absolutely love that. And for those returning, Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you so very much. And yeah, I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.